time again and it's a solemn year however we have some form of celebration for easter and it's a traditional year for all of us especially in a jamaica guess what we do we make with bun and cheese of course so today i'm going to be making bun and cheese for you guys a traditional jamaica bun and cheese so get your utensils ready get your ingredients ready because we're gonna get all going in the kitchen today but first let me um say a little few little things that we used to do back home okay let me take this off all right so yes a few little things that we used to do back home during easter the traditional thing my grandmother auntie bless our soul is that she never missed a church service the traditional good friday service and also easter sunday however one thing that i was scared of you know is that we used to do the egg in a cup what we used to do is before sunrise you put an egg in a glass with water but not the yellow just the white yes and you leave it out there until the sunrise until about 12 o'clock and then used to say if a ship come you sail mm -hmm. you go go on you go, go on ship if a boat you go, go on boat if a plane you go fly but they always say he make one coffin so everybody used to be scared of no one dead <laughs> nobody no one dead so it was like afraid for doing so that was one of the scariest thing we used to do during um good friday also you can't turn on a fire you know actually tell a lie what what auntie used to do is to get up early friday morning and we put on a little breakfast but that is before sunrise you know and believe you me you can't no matter how hungry you be you can't put on nothing on the stove you know nothing up on the stove until about what after 12 or 3 o'clock, I think about 3 o'clock, you know. Mm -hmm. Not until after 3 o'clock. If I'm wrong, send, send a little message and let me know. All right? Send me a little message and let me know. Another thing as well is that Easter eggs is very common here in London where all the kids look forward to their Easter eggs. Yes? And they do Easter egg search, egg hunt and all of that. So those are the games. Another thing we used to do is Easter Monday. Everybody gonna beach? Yes! Hello, East, when I've done Good Friday, eat the fish and the bummy. Come on, the best fried fish. Tell me which fish you love. Me love the snapper, you know. Hmm. Yes, love the snapper. Me can't go around with the snapper at all, you know. Which fish you love, Gresham? Come on, tell me what fish you like. That the fish snapper. All right, there you different, go. Different, different colors. All right, there you go. So, yeah. But, yes, the traditional fried fish and bummy was one of the things that we do during Easter time. What else we used to do again? Mm, let me remember now. Oh, you remember now you have to have your bun and cheese. And basically, some people like to have the big hunk of cheese. Well, here in London, we don't, I mean, you can get the Jamaica cheese to buy, but it's expensive. You haven't got to go mortgage with that one there now. So, we normally we stuck to the, the good old um, Red Leicester or the British Mature Cheese. Any cheese or any. Come to you, Emma. Yes. Also, what else we used to do? Let me try and remember. Hmm. Right. Oh, how oh, me forget that one? I mean, from my memory, you know. You remember they have one tree called the physic nut tree. You remember that tree, Degrisha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And you know mm. what them say? If you cut the tree, the tree bleed red. Good Friday, when you cut that tree, that tree bleed. It signify Christ on the cross. The crucifixion, them call it the crucifixion tree. So it's called a physic nut tree. So anybody want to go try this one, look for the physic nut tree, cut it, and see if it's not bleed on Good Friday. What else we have to say? Well, anyway, all right, we'll soon come back. All right, we're going to get the things them together. And then, so guys, all your ingredients that you will need, the essential ingredients, you're going to need a flour, your sugar, you're going to need Guinness or Dragon. You're going to need your honey, vanilla, you're going to need your baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and all, everything. But I'll show you as I go along all we need to do. So I'm going to start by doing my flour. 
So, all right, so I'm going to get my apron on now. I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to get my apron on and then... So now we're ready to get our bun going, right? Traditional Jamaica Easter bun. As I said, you need all the ingredients. But first you need to have your flour sifted. And you will need six cups of flour. And this is six cups of flour pre-sifted. Yeah, six cups of flour. As you can tell, I have already sifted it. But I'm going to put it over into this container because that's where we're going to be mixing our, our bun, um, having our bun mixture. So that's already sifted. So what you need to make sure it's sifted. So no lumps or anything is left in there. You can tell that I've already sifted that. So we get that out the way, put that there. So I'm going to be adding, this is, if you notice what I've done, I've gone and done post-it notes. So it's easier for us to remember exactly what we are doing, yeah? Exactly, so follow me step by step. Six cups of flour and in the flour i'm going to add two tablespoon of baking powder right two tablespoon of baking powder so this is where we are concentrating on our dry ingredients first so mixing the baking powder then i'm doing two teaspoon of nutmeg yeah Let's go my nutmeg and this is what I've grated. The Jamaica nutmeg, I've grated that and put that aside. So the nutmeg and this is four teaspoons of mixed spice. You want the mix, you want more mixed spice more than anything else because it gives the bun the flavor, yeah? Also, you need a teaspoon of salt. So I've added that. And the last dry ingredient is two teaspoons of cinnamon cinnamon powder so this is all our dry ingredients here i'm gonna mix that thoroughly so this is as i said you get your flour pre-sifted you add your baking powder all your spices your nutmeg and your cinnamon right i am if this is <laughs> let me be honest with you guys this is the first time I'm doing bun. My grandmother used to bake bun, but I never pay attention to her doing the bun. Now, me always I watch the gizada, the drops, and the greater cake. That not a problem for me, for me. But now, me I do the bun. So, listen, you and I are going to make bun for the first time, right? And you're going to follow this step by step, okay? So that's the dry ingredient, okay? So think I've covered the dry ingredients. Now we're going to do our wet ingredients. So sit tight, come back. And see how we start up. Welcome back, guys. Now we're ready for our wet ingredients. So you will need two bottles of dragon stout. All right, so let me pour that in. Two bottles of dragon stout. I'm pouring that in the container. All right. So tell me how you like your bun. You like your bun soft, dry? Or, and when you're having bun, you, have, you like to break it. You like the end or the middle part of it. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so two bottles of jug and stout. Half cup of honey. Let me, um, can I have a small spoon, Gresham? I'm going to get a small spoon to, um, to get. Thank you. Spray pot there. The honey in there you know i'm not leaving there so this is half cup of honey so some people have bread and, and cheese uh, you know not everybody like the bun you know but hey it's a traditional jamaica thing we love a piece of bun on good friday or easter time rather so yeah so that's the honey and then here we go we have our I want to make sure you know how much is in here. Two cups of sugar. And I want to show you the sugar that I use. Because sometimes what people do, they this is a light brown soft sugar. I've used this one because I am not putting my liquid on the... Um, I'm not putting the liquid on the, on the stove to warm. Because basically it helps to dissolve 
the sugar easily but we're gonna mix ours we're gonna mix out the, the sugar so this is a soft sugar so that will be easy to mix out yeah you're gonna make sure there's no granules nothing at all it's supposed to be smooth right so and now i'm going to add um i need to have make sure i have enough um uh, make sure i've done a half cup of honey two tablespoon of molasses so this is a tablespoon you know you can use your so oh two tablespoon and i pour it so you can see and i pour a little bit over because right okay so that's our molasses gone in i'm gonna stir as we go along and then you're going to need your melted butter and your melted butter is meant to be let me make sure i've written it down so you need to know four ounces of melted butter and that equates to about eight um spoonful of um eight tablespoon of butter i think it is four ounces of butter melted butter we make sure we get everything i make i listen this is the first time i'm making bunny now so i'm not here being a professional i'm learning just as much as you will be learning from me so we are gonna make sure you understand and also you're going to need oh four tablespoon of browning this is hard to all right i got it and i'm going to use this um where's the little spoon where did i put the spoon oh here it is the molasses and the browning is the same thing so i'm just going to pour it out in there it doesn't matter is it we're going to need um how much four tablespoon of browning Depends on how dark you want your bun to be as well, you know. I like my, my bun to look three, four. That should be alright. So it's coming to come. And what happened to the vanilla? No, we don't forget the vanilla. We're going to make sure this is blended out, mixed out properly it's smooth not nothing no residue in the bottom right so the vanilla so i'm using that vanilla you're gonna make sure it's two teaspoons of vanilla if you like you probably just can use a cap i'll just use a cap to measure the vanilla that work out about two teaspoons of vanilla so it depends how you like your bun if you like your bun spicy you can add more vanilla and i'm going to add a little bit of um, rose water in there a little tip I like, you know what I like how this rose water tastes? It tastes like the old time rose water. Lick a tip. Can't hurt, not true? Yeah. So this is going to be mixed out. So when you come back, all this will be mixed out. So I'm mixing out everything. And also, what I'm going to do is add some raisins. Do you like your raisins? A um, lot of fruits in your arm. Um, in your in your bun i like lots of fruit so what i did with this is i put a little bit of wine on it but what i have gone and done as well so we want a lot of our fruits in our bun we like bun gresham love bun what i did so i've done this in advance i've put some flour on the um the raisin so when i'm doing the mixture it doesn't sink to the bottom of the bun right so there we go so i'm just gonna mix this out now and get it ready to add the the flour or here we go start adding the flour so all right so when you come back all right so we soon come <laughs> also guys you will need two beaten eggs for your mixture and what i've gone ahead and done was grated an orange in the um in the egg and you might wonder how this egg is so bright it's called the Burford's brown egg. Them egg are real organic egg. So look, so you add that into the mixture and that will help to 
make the bun you know not too heavy put it that way all right not too heavy and remember you will also need to grease your bun tins make sure it's greased and set your oven ready okay so we're gonna start adding our flour now so i started to add my flour mm -hmm. you see it's coming to come look at the color that is bun looking beautiful The color is looking beautiful. So my dragon stout, my molasses, my browning on all my, so look, as I said, you go around and you cut in, go around. So as I said, guys, work with me today. This is my first bun and you're going to try it when it finishes as well, yeah? Make sure it's all mixed out. You go around and you cut in. And remember, I said to you, I'm going to put some, I have some raisins with some flour on here. I'm going to sprinkle that in there because it will prevent the, the raisins from dropping to the bottom. Yes, yeah, sinking. We call it a sink. You know, when you're doing cake, pudding rather. Mm hmm. I thought I would need a bit more flour, but now it looks like it's all right. You know, when you're doing pudding, and you find all of the raisin that drop at the bottom of the the um the pudding is because you know flour the raisin so i don't want that to happen today so have a look the mixture is looking fine let me see if this can stand up in here probably might need a little tip more flour a little tip more but let's work with this we're gonna make sure it's all mixed up properly so we're not putting nothing in no um blend i know <laughs> but them call this elbow grease we're gonna cut yeah in out in and then you cut round i mean <laughs> picky boys around round and then okay while that leave that for a moment um your bun mixture and it's almost ready you need to preheat your oven whether it's gas mark or fahrenheit <laughs> then normally it's 300 to 350 fahrenheit or four four to five um gas mark here in london but also you need to ensure that your cake tins i'm using these are two pound um not cake tin bun bun tin loaf tin these are what i'm using and what i did i've gone ahead and i i have greased it with butter and i sifted a little bit of flour so it will make it easier to um to come out okay so this is how it looks so it says it's, it's pretty easy if you follow the instructions you'll get your bun ready look at that so there it is The color is all right and the consistency is all right. I'm making mess here as well. So yes, guys. So I'm going to start to pour this out in here now. So we might need Gresham. But let me see if I can manage to, um, to do it on my own while he holds the camera. <laughs> he loves his bun too, you know, so. I'm loving bun as well. We like bun and cheese and we like enough raisin in here, okay? So now we're ready to put our mixture in our baking loaf tin. As I um, said to you, it's already greased. So I'm going to pour that in. Wow, that looks good, isn't it? See how this one comes out. I'm going to need our spatula to clean out the the rest of it. That's a spatula. Okay, hold on. Have I got the spatula here? 
we can't waste anything you know we have to use up every little bit you understand every little bit has to be used up and then we wait for our bands we can't wait all right so put some over into into that tin equal amounts in each tin so you see we get two buns from that mixture that recipe two buns hey guys welcome back i'm pretty much excited at doing bun for the first time look i think i've conquered it enough but wait for the tasting time anyway we're gonna do our cherries but have you noticed anything? He says about hats and um, bonnets. Yes, he says about hats. So the first hat is my baker's hat. What do you think? How you like my hat? So this is the first one. All right, let me do the cherries. So we're going to add our cherries. Let me do this one. I think I like to. That's the main bun. <laughs> May I take preference? But so you go. We're going to add our cherries. I'm going to make it colorful. Mm-hmm. So we got perp. Ooh, turn over, turn over, turn over. Here we go. Turn over. I'm gonna make let's do do the, the color sporadic so it doesn't you know it's not in any what you call it. So yeah. So cherries is a must for um for your bun. It adds that finish look. What do you think? I've got red and I've got green, I've got purple and I've got yellow or golden, yeah. So these are all the glazed cherries. So when they when up, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of fruits on top as well. So a little raisin. You know when the bun bake, you see a little raisin chew up on top. Mm-hmm. Here we go. As me say, there's no no little no need to put anything in any um how does it look tell me so when it comes out it's gonna look beautiful so we have the green the one over here so, so leave some for me leave some for me now use up all right over here so left some for me right i think we have enough cherries there so we put that one out the way yes and then come forward you feel like you're the, the forgotten about bun. <laughs> right. I should change the hat. Not you. Let me change the hat for the one. Let me change the hat. What do you think? No. Wait. All right. Now change the hat yet. No, this look pretty, man. We are gone. We are gone. We are happen. We are happen. Jamaica bun. Oh, who remember when time we used to go to beach? We used to go down a Gallon Beach and down a Bluefields. Mm hmm. Which beach you used to go to, Gresham? Watch your beach. Duns River Beach. Hey, 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 hey. Show off, show off, show off. White River Beach. Show off, show off. Li little Duns River Beach. Miss White River. Portis, Missy, somebody talk about White Portis River. Seeker Beach. Somebody talk about White River there, there as well. James Bond Beach. A lie. You don't tell. Uh, catch it at a lie. Oi. Sharp Park Beach. Really? Oh God. We don't have so much. We have Beach. Gallon. Gallion. A Gallion we have a mm-hmm. And a Gallion and there we go. Here we go. So I think that looks alright. Yeah. So it's gonna look beautiful when it comes out. So all the cherries on top. And basically if it sinks, you can take um when you look at it late um halfway through, you can add some more cherries on top. But there we go. Here is our cherries on our now that's the bun ready. Yes. Oh my God! Hello, 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 hello! I've done bun. Ooh. I've done. And while we're waiting for this to, to all right. Yeah. Let me just say one thing. Well mm. done. For the first time, it's really smell good. I, just, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I know. Babes. Can't wait. Anyway, well done, well done. Thank you, Honey Bunch. 
So the bun is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in the middle shelf. And as I said, it's set at gas mark four, which is about 350 degrees. And if you notice, I've got a little bit of water in there. So you can see buns in the oven. Bun in the oven, baking, baking, baking. Baking till the morning. If you do it, so you like my hat? Hat? Catch it at a lie. 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 Hello? Hello? But in the oven, baking, baking, baking. Guys, <laughs> remember. That you need I've just put the, the buns in the oven and you need to ensure that it's baked for at least 60 minutes and when it's baked you will need to use your skewer whatever you need to use like a toothpick or something a knife to put in when it comes out clean you know it's baked or this or that whatever you choose so remember 60 minutes I'm having a bit of raisin <laughs> It tastes so good. Bun in the oven, baking, baking, baking. Bun in the oven, baking, baking till the morning. If you see a little sister, call her, call her, call her. If you see a little sister, call her, call her till the morning. Bun in the oven, baking, baking, baking. Bun in the oven, baking, 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 baking till the morning. These are the cocktail cherries. They're beautiful. Mmm. Nice. Mm -mm. The, listen, you know me now almost have um kittens yesterday, Krisha, I mean. It? When we went to Sainsbury and them changed up the whole of the place. Eh? And we couldn't find the cherry. Mm, yeah. Mm? Yeah, we gotta change up the whole place, eh? Mm. Huh? Thank God we found them. I was a bit confused. And then call it psychology. Mm. Mm. Sales. But sales. Yeah. And then then catch him. <laughs> we have to find the cherry, don't you? Yeah, so you spend longer time inside the business the establishment. More. So that gives you more time to decide you might buy something extra. Mm. Mm. Did they buy anything extra? Yeah, yeah. Mm, all right. Yeah, they'll catch you. No, they don't really catch me. <laughs> purchase something. <laughs> you'll catch you own up, own up, man. You see what I'm saying? Him no, the one own up. They no, didn't catch him. They didn't catch me. Because he yes. had planned. Listen, he was going to work and he was going to bring something. Now he changed his mind and he buy something. Never planned for that. So they catch him. So it might be if they hadn't changed it, mm. might be what I would never get the extra item. No, oh, well. So, which is, it, it was beneficial to me. Mm, true. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for your company. Come back and see how the bun come out with. So it's time for us to check our buns. If it's baked, oh, the heat. This is our first time baking bun, so we're going to use a knife. And the knife should comes out really clean. You see that? Comes out really clean. And this one, oops, the knife comes out clean as well. So it's time to take our buns out. Well, it's the first time we're baking bun. It doesn't look too bad. There we go. Oh, delicious. <laughs> this looks too bad. So we change. Oh, Ooh, cherry up. Right, so our glaze is ready. And what I've used in my glaze is honey, melted butter, and some jam. See? So I'm going to use it now to glaze the bun. You notice I've used my <laughs> my yellow brush. I'm gonna use two so I get it glazed much. And what the glaze does is add that sheen and finish gloss to the. Isn't that beautiful? But guys, remember, 
If you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to press the, the notification bell. Also, drop a little comment. So when you come back, that should be cooled and ready to share. Who is ready for a slice of bun? Who's ready to have bun and cheese? <laughs> it looks good for my first time. Well, I'm gonna... So we're cutting our bun. Be nice. I love the bun. Oh, look at the bun. Oh, watch that piece. Don't let it drop off. See the texture? Soft. See the bun? I'm going to put our cheese in there. It looks good. I made my first bun. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. look good, taste good, look good. Thank you very much. Congratulations, babes. Thank you. This is the final result of my bun. So I've got some Jamaica cheese here. Yes. And I, which part of the bun you like? Me love the back, you know, it never have. Look, look at the gloss. It is looking delicious it's beautiful thank you guys for watching this video please remember to like share and subscribe and put some comments on my hubby and i we're gonna have some bun and cheese now so take care thank you very much for watching Yo, look at my bun my first bun and i'm going to have a slice and um, sample the bun so you can see. So here we go. I like the the back of the bun. So I'm going to have a slice. Rem remember, you can have any cheese with your bun. You can have Red Leicester, which is here, London cheese, or the mature cheese. And remember, the, 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 the texture of the cheese and the taste of the cheese complement the sweetness of the bun. So they both complement each other. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. You can taste the ingredients of the wine. A little bit of wine in the um the, the fruits, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Mmm. And the texture is good. Let me take the cheese up and show you. When you when you do your bun, you see the texture is good. Comes out really nice. Mm. Guys, follow my recipe step by step. Make a note of little things that you you know so you won't forget and you'll have a bun looking like this. It nothing is perfect you just try this is my first time and this is how it looks and so it tastes very nice mm. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so